Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called this? You may ask, so I'll tell you. The accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm established. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Virginia Rounds Griffiths. But before that, I'd like to say thank you for watching the show live or at a later date, as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform the present, so that they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life regression, past life regression, angelic reiki, angel cards, meditation, hypnosis, to help women who feel lost get clear on their path. Now, each episode of this show will cover various themes of your journey, normally a mini guided meditation or angel card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guests like today's guest, Virginia Rounds Griffiths, who will be answering the question, is energy in your house and workplace empowering or disempowering your life? Now, Virginia is a spiritual coach and teacher, energy alchemist, medical intuitive, past, present and future coach and trainer. Now, physicists tell us everything is energy and we understand the zero point field has infinite possibilities. That is the field that Virginia works in. Working globally, she has been fortunate enough to touch the lives of thousands of people. And with the magic of internet working online enables her to do this. The majority of people um, have no idea of the energies that are playing a vital role in their lives, resulting in a life lived in a flow of infinite possibilities or in a life obstructed at every turn. Now, Virginia is passionate about helping those who need energy transmuted and transformed in their environment, in their personal energy fields, physical bodies, and any other areas they require, from negative to positive, allowing them to access those infinite possibilities. With testimonials such as, Virginia is a gifted and highly evolved soul who heals on an energetic level. I've seen improvements with my son, and this is a complicated situation, and absolutely fabulous. Virginia's ability to report what is happening within and around the physical body is amazing. Since she worked with me, I felt so much better. And I've actually seen Virginia in work and seen around how her energy clearing actually does work. So without further delay, hello, Virginia, and welcome to the Angels and Destiny show. How are you today? Hi, Ray. Thank you so much for having me on your show and also to your amazing community out there. I give gratitude for um, listening to me today, <laughs> which is, of course, all about our, about energy. And it, it's really odd, isn't it, what's happening? It, it, it is, because those that are watching, um, Virginia keeps disappearing, then reappearing. The camera's only shown in black and white, and we've got something that's flying about. So as long as you can hear her, that will be absolutely fine. So don't worry if you can't see her. Um, she is still there because you'll still be able to hear her. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, then I want to remind you that you can also ask questions, leave comments and thoughts, as both Virginia and I want you to be part of this conversation. So please do not be shy. We'll try to say hello to everyone who says hello and answer any questions live or once the show is finished. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can get updates on all recordings. So, Virginia, why don't you tell us more about yourself and answer the question, is energy in your house and workplace empowering or disempowering your life? Ah, thank you, Ray. It's a really interesting question, and I'm so passionate about this because energy plays a part in our lives. No matter what we're doing, everything is energy, and this is what the physicists tell us. And they also tell us that there is this amazing field out there called the zero point field, or some people call it the quantum field, or some people just call it the field. And in that field, this energy, energy changes all the time. It never stands still. It's always evolving. And um, that's what I, the, I put a lot of focus on energy because a lot of people have no idea that you have many bodies many energy bodies, as it's called. Now, those energy bodies, as we are going through life, they can get contaminated, they can get clogged. And when we become contaminated or clogged, our energy bodies start to shut down on us. So you imagine a, a, a vase, a beautiful clear vase, 
and it, as we go through life, and we'll use this analogy, the vase becomes contaminated with a little bit of a mud, or a teaspoon of mud here. And next time, there's another teaspoon of mud. And then the next day, there's another teaspoon of mud. So it gets to the stage where you can't see through that vase at all because it's so clogged with negative energy because all of that dark stuff, mud. And as a consequence, it then starts to take its toll on your health. All right, so our health starts to suffer. Um, and then a lot of people, I'm sure, who know your, who listen to your your show understand the concept of chakras because it's it's part and parcel of who we are. And of course, in our spiritual and as Reiki angel heal, you know, healers and all healers of all kinds know what chakras are. And chakras, of course, then um, connect to the organs in the body. Yes. And so if all of these have shut down because of the negative energy that's in them and because we haven't, we're not clearing them, then you can imagine the, the physical body is going to start, start to suffer. It, and I have a real huge understanding because I work with the brain a lot, that your brain, your physical body mirrors your brain. So a lot of it's coming from the, the brain as well. So here we now are starting to talk on a, a, a different uh, sphere of how the brain can influence your 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 body but the brain can only take so much as the body can only take so much and all of this is energy it all comes back down to energy all right and um so this is what i love about what i do energy bodies we have seven major energy bodies number one is the etheric body and this is all contained as we know within the auric field yeah which is that lovely egg thing that we always see. You know, that's how we, it's always depicted as within this egg cocoon. So you have your etheric body, and that's the body that's closest to your physical body. And when that becomes contaminated, it, which it does on a daily basis, because we're always coming into contact with all these energies, um, and a lot of them are not pleasant ones. Yes, they're always, have you got a cat with you? I have, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, it's so cute. I know. So there, there we are talking about energies. Um, we've got to, obviously cats are very good at picking up oh. um, and clearing energies. They are amazing, actually, cats, because they just, you know, we they know and they can sense when there's negative energies around or any of those or pleasant energies as well. So yeah. um, getting back to the, the auric field, the mm. very first next one on to your physical body is the etheric body. And that's taking stuff on all day, every day. Then we have the mental body. And then there's the emotional body, then there's the astral body, then there's the fifth, sixth, and seventh bodies. But these are just the major ones that we are aware of. Now, when those all become contaminated, we, you know, we're just going through life and we just feel like everything's piling down on top of us, little by little, just weighing us down with a lot of negative energies. Then we're looking at the auric field. Again, this is all the, the bodies that we're talking about. And when we have negative thought forms, we are pulling in, I, I always call this the, the literal law of attraction. So if we're thinking negatively, we're pulling in that negative energy into our auric field. Thoughts don't just go off and fly off and sit on some cloud somewhere, and they don't just disappear. They are real, and they start to cre they create our reality. This is my understanding. Now, taking that a little bit further, our within the auric field too is we have chords okay mm -hmm. so we're constantly courting others and people others are constantly courting us and if those chords are not cleared again um they become contaminated and you know that you can do psychic attack through those chords yes yeah. and also you can send loving energy and a lot of us as family members we are courting each other all the time mothers and children bond right from the very beginning it's just the way it is as do fa families as do uh, you know the parents with the children in those families, and then of course we also cord with lovers. You know, we also cord with our workplace colleagues. Sometimes those cords may not be as conducive as we would like them to be with harmony and peace. Right. Mm -hmm. So all of these areas are crowding in to your energy field, to this auric field that we we talk about. And they're contaminating us at all times, you know. Um, but there's hope. 
there's light at the end of this tunnel because we can actually clear those. <laughs> and I'd like to do a clearing at the end or somewhere during this uh, this talk um, mm -hmm. and help people with clearing those cordings, all right? Yeah. Because I think it's, yeah. it's really important. And the other thing is people don't forget that you are courting each other all the time. And although we may clear today, if you really it behoves you if you want to have a clear um, a clear energy vessel, which is what you are, then you need to do this at least once a day at night before you go to sleep at night. Decord yourself from everybody's energies you know, that you've picked up during the day. And um, another really, really important thing too, uh, as we go forward uh, in the same energy field is grounding. Grounding is yeah. so, so important. Uh, people don't realize just how the importance of grounding um, when we're grounded, we are fully in our bodies, we're fully present, our bodies are our shield, and we feel amazing. You know, we have this empowerment when you're fully in your body. But unfortunately, a lot of people are not grounded, and as a consequence, they are either halfway out of their bodies or they can be fully out of their bodies. And when that happens, they take on everyone else's stuff. They're taking on all the negativity that's floating around out there, people's thought forums, all of that, they're taking it on. And um, that is really, really difficult for us. As a lot of people are finding this energy is really, really debilitating. And we mm. have no idea exactly what it's doing to us. Um, and, of course, you know, tomorrow is the Lion's Gate, which is a really special yeah. time and is bringing on these amazing energies. So, you know, it behoves us to actually to connect into that lion's gate energy and to just feel the freedom of it, feel the, the creativity of it, feel the love of it. Because if we don't, you're going to be fighting against it. And that's not the object of the, you know, our lessons as we go forward. Yeah. Um, so yeah, absolutely amazing with that energy that's coming down. And it is, it is really throwing a lot of people around too. Yes. Yeah. Oh a yeah. Lot of people, yeah. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people um, are posting on Facebook, you know, how things are up up and down with them, with, with their energies. And, you know, those, those that are watching at the moment, you know, please do say hello. And if you've got any questions or comments, please do, um, you know, do put them in because, you know, if we can answer them um, live on air, then that'll be absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, especially if you are having issues with all the energies that, that are around um, at, at the moment. You know, disturbing you, upsetting you. Yeah, it's really, it's really important because uh, another one of the many things when we're, we're talking energy now is um, I encounter. I do a lot of clearing for people for energy for their energies, energy fields, and when I do, they say, "Oh my goodness, I feel so light," and even their vision. Uh, they said, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe that those colours are out there because my vision is so clear." <laughs> It just shows you how, you know, we bog down, bog ourselves down with these, these negative energies that are around us. And um, we know when we're in the, in the presence of good energy, of yeah. positive energy, we know that that's a, that's a, that it, it just feels so good when we're in that energy. But the majority of times we are in the other energy, which is, which is not so good. And I just want to talk about um, energies of doing sh shopping when we go shopping. Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so I, when I go shopping, I make sure when everything's in the car, so because I've got it all there, then I clear it all out of all the negative energies because you think about it. If something was grown in Spain and that farmer wasn't very happy and or maybe the people that were picking the produce weren't being very happy, yeah. that energy is going into that produce. You know? And so when it comes to you, you don't want to ingest the energy from someone that wasn't happy. No. no. So this is really, really important, people. And everything, anything at all. So you say so you let's say we're buying rice from China or rice from India or something, and you know, they've got somebody that's disgruntled and not happy in their job. Guess what? The energies are going into that rice. Yes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's yeah. as simple as that. So it really behoves us to then clear all those energies out of I do when I'm in the car. And then I also then uh, in fill, I've, I've filled it with the most beautiful golden energy of love, healing, light from 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 source. 
all right so then i transform and transmute all that energy that and i can feel it believe you me i know that negative energy when i come against, up against it yeah, i know then, I've, seen, I've seen you when you come up yeah, against it yeah. and then i fill it with this beautiful beautiful light from source and the the difference is like chalk and cheese and do this with water as well we can do this with water especially because water is a conductor of energy and it's really fantastic when you and you can take taste the difference mm, you really definitely. can taste the difference in the water when you when you change you know the um the, the energy around it. it was really funny uh ray i have to tell you this story about wine okay so we bought this, okay, this is, we yeah. Were in Sydney. yeah yeah so we were in sydney and uh, we bought this wine and it wasn't like the best wine in the world i don't know how i know the government to came to before us but it did so we well, I said, well hey let's let's have a go and changing this wine and see what difference it makes it was just amazing the wine became so mellow it was beautiful because it was red, it was red wine and the change was amazing <laughs> and so we also got to know that's what jesus did when he changed the water into the wine you see <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so we can do this anyone has this ability to be able to do this yeah so that's shopping that we're talking about so i changed that that whole the the energy um around it and another thing which people really have to be mindful of because a lot of us don't even know shopping on amazon all that stuff coming through shopping on am from on amazon again a lot of stuff is made in china yeah and you know because it's made cheaply so it's going to have those energies plus it's going to also have the energies of everyone that's touched it along the way all that past yeah so yeah. it's going to have all of that as well so it really behoves us to clean it because at the end of the night every night i run clearing through the house and if anything's come in that hasn't been cleared it can pick it up so if something's come from amazon i can pick that energy up and yeah. that's all cleared out you know so at least you know that you're constantly and having a clear uh, home now we transfer that to your workplace so we can do that you can do the same thing in your workplace you can have your own little cocoon which you can create by clearing it out and then also making sure that you're not courting and de are being courted by those people around you whose energy is not what you want and yeah. what you'd like in your because you know we all know colleagues like that where it's not very conducive at all another one of the places that a lot of negative energies are picked up and i really have to say this is that's at hospitals okay yeah hospitals are famous for this because people in hospitals are usually sick and yeah. or dying and or poorly in some form so in that with that in mind we a lot of those negative energies are hanging around and i'm talking about entities and entities are lost souls that haven't made their way to to, to the light um a lot of them have chosen to stay because they can be mischievous a lot of them choose to stay because they can find a host that will help them and continue with their drug problem and or their cigarette problem yes whatever alcohol problem any of those addictions and um hospitals are really really rife for them anyone that's been near uh, into a hospital i know straight away i can tell and because they've got these entity energies within them so hospitals schools are rife for that places like train stations airplane airports oh my goodness they're everywhere yeah everywhere right? mm. my daughter just went to um, slovenia 2 weeks ago and i got an sos on my phone she said, mom please can you just clear the plane because this plane is full of because she can feel i yeah. i can't feel them because i don't only if i connect in them then i know but she yeah. feels them 200 meters away she can feel wow them. oh yeah yeah and she always feels them they always seem to attack her throat yeah okay yeah it's interesting so i got this sos so i cleared the whole of the plane and it was lovely she had a peaceful journey as she went on and it was really really lovely because as she was doing um she did a 6 month sabbatical in south america about uh, a year ago and as she was doing that she would go to all these different places like machu picchu and you know mm. other areas and she would tell my mum i can you please clear all this energy because i can't i i can't go into them they were suffocating her basically yeah mm. so it was really a wonderful experience because it meant that even though i was here thousands of miles away i could clear those energies from those places and a lot of it was ancient energies ancient mm. oh, 
I have to tell you about this one. I went. <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah, we went to um, High Clear. Downton Abbey? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I don't, don't watch the programme, but yeah. Two weekends ago. Because mm. I've been wanting to go and see it, and I particularly yeah. wanted to go and see the Tutankhamun exhibition, which is underneath mm. in the basement, because uh, whatever his name was, Lord, oh gosh, his name's uh, escaped me. Yeah. He, he funded the discovery of Tutankhamun's, um, for those people that aren't aware, of hit the tomb. Um, Carter was the man that oh, definitely, found it. Yeah, Carter. He was the man that found it, but the, it was Lord Carnarvon. Uh, Lord Carnarvon. Yeah. Yeah. Now, interestingly enough, a lot of the people that were connected to that died, and they said there was a curse, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I tell you, as we walked into the bottom of the of the house where the exhibition was, I couldn't I couldn't stand up from the energy that was emitted because in that first room there were energies from the actually from the site was in that first room. Then they had two and three rooms next next to that. But I, I had to sit and clear. As I sat there, I was clearing all of those negative energies, but they were so debilitating. I'm thinking to myself, how come everybody else can't feel this? <laughs> Why is it? I'm the only one. <laughs> and then as we cleared out to the, the other rooms, it got less and less dense. But that mm. in that particular room was really, really huge. So... And then you take into consideration all the people that flock there. We're all taking our stuff. Right? Yeah. We're all taking our stuff. So that's also added to the mix. It's just amazing. Um, I wanted to talk too, particularly about geopathic stress, which is yeah. huge. Mm. Yeah, be because, yeah, um, uh, when we were doing the uh, Future Life Practitioners training, um, we, we had an issue there, didn't we? We did indeed, yeah. We had a, a lovely young woman who was one of our team, and she, uh, I didn't realise, she talked about her house making her sick, and that's when my ears broke up, and I thought, that's strange. What do you, what do you mean? She, says, she called it sick house syndrome. That's it, yeah. And sick house syndrome. So when I connected into that, and I picked up geopathic stress, because every single client I work with has geopathic stress under their house, which is indicative of the fact that their health is suffering as a consequence of that energy from under the under the house, and basically what it is is geo meaning the earth of the earth and pathos meaning sickness. So you've got just geopathic sickness underneath the earth, this energy, and it it has many uh, reasons for being, but the main ones are underground streams which are have negative energies running through them another one is um uh, the, the the earthquake faults like the andreas fault in yeah. california those main earthquake faults like in the ring of fire christchurch i would presume would also have it as well and um also to do with ley lines when ley lines don't cross at a proper angle this this energy is there underneath the earth so it's coming up and out of the earth into your buildings, either in your home and or in the workplace. Now, this energy, when it's there, and, and it's it's really very debilitating because it causes discord in the house among the families. There'll be a lot of uh, arguments going on. There'll be a lot of discord, not nice at all, mm. and disharmony. And it also causes chronic mental issues health issues and also chronic physical issues like it, it get causes cancer and all kinds of things it's really really interesting because i just where the place that i moved from i was talking to the lady next door and she told me that she never liked that house right from the very beginning but her husband liked it so they bought it yeah. and she said they had a lot of problems just buying the house now she's trying to sell it she's got a lot of troubles by trying to sell the house mm. Okay. Now, it works out that her husband died of cancer in that home. Oh, no. Yeah, he died of cancer in that home. And I, was, I thought, that's strange. So I, sure enough, I, I checked into the energy and there was geopathic stress. Now, the geopathic stress ran all the way along the road, the front of the road, in underneath that house, underneath the house from the other side, and that person had died of cancer and underneath the house from this side, and that person died of cancer. So that just shows you the yeah the strength of that geopathic stress and what it does. 
Interestingly enough, ants love geopathic stress. Okay, so okay. if you see, <laughs> if you have an ant ant infestation, you watch the you watch the you know how they have a, a path that they follow. Yeah, watch that path because you can almost guarantee that's where geopathic stress is. Ah, yes, that's an interesting thing to look out for. It is. Now, another thing is how you can tell is if there's a crack in the building. Okay, there'll be a crack in the building, and if you look down to the earth, you'll see where the crack in on the earth is as well. And another way, another place too, um, is and a lot of us see it. You see, you look outside your garden, and you'll see everything's green, and there's a like a path where the grass is not growing well, mm. and or a hedge. There's a path where the hedge has died. That is geopathic stress as it's going through. Okay. Yeah. That's all indicative of geopathic stress. Fascinating, isn't it? Uh, that and the is ants, yeah, the ants love it. And cats, in interestingly, will go towards the geopathic stress as well. That's the way it is. Cats will do do that as well. Yeah. Yeah. So this this is really really the worst kind of energy that you'd ever want underneath your house, because it's just causing no end of bad health and uh, disharmony in the house. And the, the sad thing is people don't even know that it's there. Like that young lady that was with us. Mm. And she moved. She knew that was the house wasn't happy. She didn't know. So she moved, remember, from that house. That's to right, yeah. Home. And it was like going from the fire and into the fire because the next one had the same thing. And the beautiful part was that the next morning when she came in to see us, she bought the muffins. Do you remember? Yes, I do, yeah. She had made the muffins, and she said, "If it hadn't have been for the fact that she felt so good, she wouldn't have made those muffins. There yeah. was no way in the world that she would have made those muffins." No, and they were very nice. I know, and they were warm. I couldn't believe. It. I said, "Oh my goodness, they're still warm." Yeah. <laughs> she said, "Yeah, no, it was, um, you know, definitely." Um, it, so she was so thrilled because the change in her just overnight, twenty-four yeah. hours had made such a difference after the clearing was made was done in our hearts so it was really really wonderful yeah how did you get into this good question darling <laughs> good question um, yeah. you know, I mean, I, it's, it's, it's so it's so it's so fascinating that you you kind of like you know you know you know so much about it and you pick it up and everything it's kind of like how on earth did you get into this i'll tell you what i started in sydney australia it all goes back to my to them, my days when I was there, and we had a we had a group of people, a spiritual group, and we were doing a lot of um, experimenting. I loved that, and especially with past life stuff. I just loved past life. It just was mm. working, and I had no qualifications. So eventually, I became a, a, cl a clinical hypnotherapy. That's another story. But when I was working with the spiritual group, we were we were working with energy. Yeah, so because I mean everything is energy that you can't be it can't be denied, and healers, that is where we go into we go into into the energy of everything. Anyway, um, and I particularly remember, I could. We were actually pulling out entities from people. Would you believe this, Ray? I I can still trying to think about it. In my so I can't remember because it was such, it seems like somebody else's life ago. We literally, they would be on the massage table, you know, the healing table, okay. and we would literally pull negative these entities out of these people. And it was hard work. It was hard work because they didn't want to let that host go. They didn't want to go, let go. Yeah. So we'd literally pull them out. And it was really uh, strenuous. Um, but now it's so easy because, you know, I could just say, okay, guys, can you just take the energy out and ding, ding, the entities are gone. Um, and it was interesting because one, one particular day I was just scanning my sister um, and I thought, oh, okay, shit, that needs to be cleared, right? That I could feel it was a negative energy. And then I went on to do things, other, other people I was just scanning just because I could. And it's just my curiosity. I just yeah. love working in this field. Yeah. And then I came back to her and it was gone. And I thought, what? No, it can't be. Let me just experiment some more. <laughs> yeah. So I did it again. And I did it with all the people, you know, and sure enough, everything was, it was gone. When I asked them to take it, it was gone. So that's how I got into it. And then, wow. of course, yeah. And then, of course, 
that has widened, that base has widened from that to doing all the things like clearing houses. I clear all houses, I clear the land. Um, a lot of times there's a vortex in the house, it's more than one vortex, which is not nice energy, not nice. Mm. And people have no idea it's there um, it's, and bringing in a lot of awful, awful energy. Um, I clear the geopathic stress. And it's really interesting as well because I'm now very, very interested in EMFs, which is very is huge. Five, five G, EMF, five G, and radiation, and that's my present passion. Again, it's energy, right? Yeah. So, the, with this EMF, I can actually d detect it and I can actually clear it. And I also have some tools that people can, which is given to me to give to, out freely to others to be able to use those tools to clear. They don't have to worry about the 5G coming because oh, excellent. Yeah, it's empowering them now. We're being empowered. Mm. We Up until now, everybody's been in fear. Oh, my gosh, you know, this stuff's coming and it's going to be. And it's true because some of these, there was an amazing man who, and they were doing some experimentation and they found that the sweat glands in our skin acts as an antennae for those energies. Okay. Mm. Accident antenna, yeah, and it's you can actually see the spiraling of the sweat glands, and that's the antenna. And so this energy, even though it doesn't do very much damage to the surface of the skin, it's as it goes deeper. That's where the damage is, is happening there. And another another one of the things that um, is really really prevalent it's, uh, that people have no idea is the ambiotic amnio, amniotic fluid in the fetus, in the in the womb. Okay. Water is a conductor. Yeah. So if you're coming into the energies of EMF and 5G, guess what's doing? It's going through the body. Into yeah. The water. Yes, it's infecting, affecting the, the fetus. So this is really dangerous stuff, this 5G. Again, it's all energy. And again, we are being given the tools to be able to, to um, clear this. And I'm, I'm going to say these on here because it's free to give it. Is that okay? Yeah. I give it away? Yes, absolutely. All right, lovely. So uh, just everyone um, think about a square, a beautiful square. It doesn't matter how big or small it is, it, it matters not. And remember, everything is intention. So it's your intention, mm -hmm. which is very, very uh, powerful. So you, it's the square is luminescent. So it's full of luminous energy. And you ask that, that that square, the luminous square, is put over any device, whether it's your telephone, where is your, whether it's your uh, computer, whether it's the smart uh, meter outside on your wall, and whether it's the masts that we are looking at. It doesn't matter. Now you've got the luminous square, and you think about it, it's just this beautiful luminescent light that is shining out beautifully. And over that luminescent square, we put a electric violet sphere. So this is a round sphere right so that is put over the you know, the luminous square and together it's incredible how it just shuts down that energy the energy is still going on inside but it's shutting it down from outside it doesn't mm -hmm. contaminate you know? wow. and a really really fascinating way because as i've just moved and been, you know been up and down the, the uh, motorways mm. and every time i see a tower i or mast I, as soon as I connect into it, I know the energy is yucky, just awful. So I just ask my guys to do this, this whole um, putting on the, the luminous square and the sphere. And when I come back up and pass that place again, it's just harmonious. The oh, change wow. is amazing. Yeah, amazing. And so this, I'm just giving this to everyone. It's not to be sold. It's to be free for everyone yeah. to use. Yeah, yeah that's, we can't that's, keep this in. Yes. Really, yeah no and, and, and we and we and we can't do um yeah we we need we need sort of like if you're not already um you know if you are sensitive to them you need to be you need to be using stuff like this yeah some people there some people have what's called um electromagnetic hypersensitivity and i've actually seen a woman who had this that some people are much more sensitive to these than others I'm with me, uh, nothing. <laughs> I can't feel nothing unless yeah. I connect in. 
right? Whereas yeah, I'm kind, kind, of, kind of like that. Yeah, I don't listen, Killington. Whereas this particular lady, I remember seeing her at her at a mind body spirit show, and she had these pictures up on the wall. We're going back a couple of well, good good few years now. This is when all this was just sort of coming to the fore. Mm. And I looked, I was fascinated because I'm fascinated with this kind of energy. And um, she showed me pictures of her legs being burnt from her computer being on her legs. Yeah, for yeah. only half an hour. And this is the type of thing that people need to know if they're hypersensitive. And it also it it plays around with their, their heads, they, they get uh, foggy brain, they get dizziness, they get, some people like with the 5G are even um, having bleeding noses and all types of very debilitating um, energies. But this hypersensitivity can really throw some people out. And it, and then they think, well, I'll go to the beautiful mountains and I'll go and live up there and that I won't be affected. But it's not true because now we've got 5G coming, haven't we? And it's yeah, going to be it everywhere. Is. Yeah. And yeah. it was really interesting because there was a lady that I, one of my clients, she had terrible allergies to everything and she was hypersensitive to everything. She went to live up there, but she wasn't getting any better. When I checked, sure enough, there's geopathic stress under her house. Oh, and no. she, yeah. And she was living in an idyllic area. Beautiful. She says mountains everywhere and clean air. And what was coming up from underneath? Geopathic stress. That's stress. Yeah. Making it worse for her as she was living there. But this EMF is really, really interesting. So please, people, share it. It's free to be shared, and it needs to be shared. Otherwise, it's just a waste of time being given. Yeah. Right? And it's really needed. So when I, um, with all my devices, so put it on your television, put it over your um, cording, you know, your electric cords, put microwaves. it over everything. Apps, oh, yeah, especially microwaves, because it's emitting all that yucky stuff. Um, I don't use microwaves at all because I know what energies are coming off. Yeah. Of. Yeah. So, and, um, but especially on those masts and those tall masts and on the 5Gs that are coming, because they're going to be, they reckon they're only going to be about 500 feet apart when they're in. And do you know, have you heard that they've, they're going to be putting up 20,000 plus satellites into the hemisphere? Oh, no. To, yes, to beam down that energy. So beware, folks, because it's coming. And yeah. uh, but I really love like Japan just decided that they don't have it. They've just yeah the Japanese. Said, oh cool. They're, yeah, they're putting it into uh, law uh, as we speak. It's been going before their parliament. Brilliant. They're clever. <laughs> oh, the, the Japanese are very very clever. They're very very health conscious, which is lovely. Mm. You know? So which is really nice. So yeah, should we do something like a, a yes a, a clearing. I'm, I'm I was, I was going to say yes, yes. Do do a clearing, do do a clearing, do a clearing for us. You know, okay. I mean, we, we, we've had Bob in here who's been watching from New Zealand, so um, oh. yeah. So so, <laughs> I I, in. so I definitely think we need to. Uh, we we definitely all need a need a clearing. Indeed. Okay. So I just want everybody to close their hand uh, to put sorry, cross their hands over their heart center, which is mm -hmm. the middle of your chest. Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out. I want you to just drop down behind your hands, all right? Just drop down behind your hands. And this is going to take you to your divine heart center. A nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out long and slow through your mouth, just breathe out and drop down even further into your heart center. And one more time. Breathing in through your nose. Dropping down behind your hands and breathe out slowly and long through your, nose, your mouth. Beautiful. Now in a second, I'm just going to click my fingers and when I do, I'm going to connect us all to the triple heart. So clicking my fingers now. And the triple heart is your own beautiful heart which expands instantly and is connected via a golden shaft to the heart of source all the way down to the heart of Mother Earth. This beautiful golden shaft connects the three hearts together. And as it does so, from your very core, just see that expand outside of you now. So it expands all the way out as far as it possibly can to encompass your entire divine energy matrix. And I also want it now to expand, to encompass 
the abode that you are living in. Wherever your house is, let it expand out to that. And we're going to ask to cleanse the walls, the floors, the ceilings and the doors of your household. All the windows, any attics, and any basements that may be in that, the place where you are right now. Cleansing, healing, purifying, releasing and balancing all energies and a lot of love. We ask too for cleansing of each and every one of your energy bodies. Any entities that may be showing or may have decided to infiltrate your energy matrix, cleared now. And I'm going to throw this into all of your energy bodies. Every single one of your energy bodies cleared now. And every single chakra. Both major and minor within your energy field. And especially your feet chakras and your earth star. Because this energy, we want you to ground all of this energy down to the earth, to the mother earth. Grounding is so important. I'm also going to ask for a clearing of your auric field. Clearing out all the negative thought forms. And all of the cording, the cords that are coming to you from others and the cords that are going from you to others. Which is the focus of this. And as we are living all of our lives simultaneously, and we also cord others and are being corded to others, whether it's from a loving standpoint or a negative one, now our intentions are to sever all of these cords from all of the events, places, people, and trauma, not only in our present, but also in our past, parallel, and any concurrent lives that we are living through in time and space in the eternal now. Now see and feel a beautiful golden light which has a consistency of liquid honey. See it come down through your crown and saturate your entire divine energy matrix. See it pour into every one of your energy bodies now. Into all of your auric field. And it fills every single person that is corded to you and from you. So this beautiful golden light, which is the light of source. It's filling all of those cords up. And it's connecting to all the people that you are corded to or corded to you. That's right. And this golden light is unconditional love. Now see this golden liquid energy seal up all of the areas where the cords attach to you and where the cords attach to others. And those cords are then just dropped away. So all you see is a beautiful divine you, absolutely pure, pristine and crystal clear. 
And feel the sweetness of this. This is your energy. Purely your energy, no one else's. It is strongly, strongly suggested that you do this courting every night. It takes no time because we can be courted again and you can record others as well. Just asking now for that golden shaft to come back to the core of you and seeing the energy of source go back to source, giving gratitude, thanks and unconditional love. And also that golden light go down and the energy go back down to Mother Earth, giving her gratitude, love and un and such heartfelt thanks. And give yourself, come back to your own divine heart center and give your Self, this beautiful gratitude, unconditional love, and heartful thanks for participating in this cord cutting for you today. So let it be written, so let it be done. Be really interesting if anybody could feel anything or if they could write in and say yeah. hello good day or anything yeah 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 no it would be it would be absolutely brilliant and of course even if you're not watching this live you're watching the replay it, it yeah it still works for you so please do um you know put put in and let, let us know um because yep. obviously we, we will be monitoring and, and, look, and looking at this i mean it's, it was really really nice um you know i i kind of like felt the golden energy come in and then when that liquid gold came down i was just like being bathed in treacle and honey yes <laughs> isn't it lovely and the thing is you know in like before uh, we, we, I, it was our understanding that when you decord you cut the cords right mm. cut. but then what happens to the one that's hanging around <laughs> but this way you're sending love down those cords yeah and then the cords just sever themselves and then they're gone yeah yeah it's no, it's, it, it, it is um yeah it was, it's it's absolutely amazing so please do um to you know do let us know your your experiences and that um so um i remember um seeing something um are you doing a workshop or something on yes. your street we are um, a retreat on the 17th and the 18th of August, which is like the weekend after next. And this retreat is all about your purpose, connecting to your purpose, to your passion, and then prosperity will follow because it has to. There is no, when, we are, when you're in the flow of your purpose and your passion, then prosperity will always inevitably follow. And it's so exciting because there are tools and it's especially aimed at people who are, um procrastinating about their business you know you and i'm sure ray i've done it um five years ago i'm still thinking oh i really want to do this and i really want to do that and how do i do it and how far do i go i tell you it's it, it, when you are empowered with the tools that we will give you it, it, it's so exciting it's just it's going to take you forward it's like a turbocharging of you, your ideas, your passion, your purpose as you go forward and to help especially those people who are uh, wanting to go into or uh, to grow their business, right? It's really, really amazing for that. So please, by all means, come on board and and um, and join us. It, we, it's going to be in Bristol and we've connected into a lovely little sort of a commune um, called Cherry Orchards and it's got the Rudolf Steiner uh, background to it. So it's all about community people helping each other. And there's a lovely maze there, which we're going to be having uh, uh, walking meditation. Um, we've got some yoga going on and um, the amazing tools that people will absolutely love. And yeah, thank you yeah. so much for reminding me about that. Oh, that, that, that that's okay. If, if I hadn't got other stuff on, I, I, I would have been down there myself. Um, <laughs> so yeah. the, so, so um, do before we go, do you have any insights or thoughts to leave around those that, that have been watching? 
sorry say that again do you have any insights or thoughts to leave you know my main thing and which i'm really passionate about is you know when a car a house has to be built on foundations yeah and if those foundations are not strong then the house is going to fall or get damaged and you know so when you learn to to manage your energy in a in the in the way that you should be doing which is keeping all of those bodies that we talked clear all of their chakras clear and and just being mindful of all the other energies that are around you then you can't help but build a solid foundation for your spiritual life your spiritual growth and your physical life yeah, yeah because if you're not well then how can you continue doing the wonderful things that you should be doing instead of being laid up somewhere and feeling you know that less than able to do these things right we have we came to this earth plane to enjoy our lives and yes we get tossed around by this and that and the other thing but somewhere along the line there comes this realization that we have to take responsibility for ourselves and for my understanding when we start doing that with our energy start managing our energy then that will help us to really stand strong and to go forward with again here we go with purpose and passion and prosperity call it what you will prosperity comes in many ways as we know it's not necessarily just money prosperity of, of life of the joie de vivre the, the, the love of life yeah you know? and, and the joy because so many of us are not feeling joy yeah but you know, seriously when you're clear and you you've got the strong core nothing faces you nothing and I, that's how i live my life and i love it yeah, I yeah. Love it. And, and and you radiate such a you such a brilliant energy from yourself as as Thank as you. well um it, it kind of light you know lightens up lightens up people when um, when when you when you're around them so Thank every you. you're welcome so everyone i hope you enjoyed the show and found it insightful and the words of wisdom that virginia has given you will help you further on your journey so virginia if people want to connect with you how do they do that I have a website which is called www uh, blue as in the color frangipani as in the flower f r a n g i p a n i dash hypnotherapy dot com. So that's me. So that, that and or you can always get me at um, Virginia Rounds at gmail dot com. Okay, because that's that's my other email. But honestly, I love what I do and ray i really do i just love what i do and i love meeting people like yourselves yourself as well and the journeys that we find ourselves going mm. along you know sure we're human beings and we all have our foibles we all have our yeah. you know ups and downs but in the main when you're working with a clear energy and you're constantly aware of your energy then 80% of your life is just shunk, I uh, for me I can say probably 90%. It's yeah. so smooth and it goes with ease and grace, you yeah? know? Yeah. And I just wish this for everyone else. I really do. Yeah, that that's brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're Thank welcome, you so dear. much. Um it has been wonderful having you on. And I think we'll have to uh get you on again. Um we've actually also um Veronica Garcia, thank you so much for this beautiful Oh, Veronica, poll. how sweet. Hi, Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> She's one of my clients. She's one of my uh, lovely ladies. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Thank, thank you for, um, for watching, Veronica. Um, I'm, I'm glad you've, uh, you, you've, you've been connected in. Yeah. Connected and enjoyed it. It's, oh, sweet. It's, it's, really, it's really brilliant. Um, yes, and if anyone who joined halfway through, um, obviously we're having fun with the energies today because... <laughs> Virginia was in black and white and she kept disappearing and reappearing. So it's like, yeah, the energies are working today. She's doing lots of clearing. Oh, that's so funny. We we yeah, we we cracked up at the beginning of this when it started. <laughs> exactly. It's like, Spooky yeah, stuff. Yeah. Per perfect, perfect for the show. That 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 that's that's all that's all I can say. So everyone, thank you so much for watching this. And I would like to invite you to um, share this video as I'm sure there are many more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you. And if you have reached that crossroads in your life, 
and you need help in finding your destiny and getting clear on your path, then I would love to be that guide for you. Please reach out and connect with me um, and we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute video call where we can talk about how I can help you, um, what issues you may have, you know, and you can find out more about, about me and, and what I can offer you. And also, if you're interested in future life progression, then I'll be teaching a three day certified course, um, FLP course, so you can actually become a future life progression practitioner on the 15th, 16th and 17th of November at the Clarendon Hotel in Blackheath. So please feel free to contact me um, for more details. Um, being a future life progression practitioner is absolutely wonderful, as I'm sure Virginia um, will, be yeah. will, tell, will tell you, you know, helping people, um, you know, see, see their future lives and bringing all that, bringing all that energy back. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, so you don't have to wait five years. No. <laughs> it's actually and, uh, fascinating stuff. It really is. And it's so empowering, isn't it? It, uh, it is. It's it's it is absolutely um, absolutely um, empowering. And before we go, Veronica is also come back. Hi, Virginia. So hi, Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> so again, Virginia, thank you so much for being on my show. And I'm definitely going to have you back at some point in the future because I'm sure we've got lots more to talk about. So much. <laughs> so much more. So um, now next Wednesday, I don't have a guest, but please do join me at 8 p.m. Um, on the Angels and Destiny show. So everyone, again, thank you so much for watching. And thank you, um, uh, Virginia, um, for being here and for all those who's commented. And I will see you all next week. So, so thank you thank all very you. much. Brilliant. Okay. Bye. So long. Bye.